<laughs> to write on. Uh, this question is complicated. I, uh, I, I got a few know. extra of these you can write on the back of. <laughs> okay, here, he'll take some. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I'm on the, we're on the hot seat here. Any question about amateur radio? That any of the subjects you talked about? Anything you need clarified? Paulie's got five pages there. Go for it, Paulie. Well, I had one, but you know what? I found the school. <laughs> the question I've actually answered. Poorly. I answered it for you they had yourself. Wrong, or if they were actually right. Hmm. Yeah, I, I find know. that sometimes when I get asked to check them. <laughs> I'm trying to find some more here for you. I found a few that I didn't oh, like that I think should be rewritten, but that's about how I found so far. <laughs> okay, if you don't know, we're going to start questioning you. What is, uh, what is QRL? QRL? L, yeah, uh, is the frequency occupied, right? Is the frequency yeah, occupied? Yeah, QRL. Yeah, listen first, yeah. yeah. Right. So we URL. <laughs> you would transmit that in CW um, when you came to a frequency you were about to use. It's a, it's a question, usually followed by a question mark. Yeah. And in, in voice, you would ask, is this frequency busy? Yeah. Uh, QRL. QRL. Q code. You guys yeah. you talked about Q codes, right? Yes. Uh, Briefly. Uh, to be honest, I've got an S35. These are probably the ones that you guys talked about that I missed. Yeah. The, uh, <coughs> in in Morse code, they, over the years, they've come up with short forms because it takes a little bit of work to send yeah. certain messages. So they came up with these Q codes. They're three letter designators that uh, can say, say, can say a, one sentence or several senses, sentences worth of information. So QRL is one of them, is the frequency busy. Yeah, they're yeah, in there. They'll be in yeah. there. Chapter 11 and 12. Chapter uh, 12 uh, Yeah. And he gave you these sheets too. Yeah. Yeah. You were in here for that one? And he sent an email. With it. Did you want to bring really this up on the monitor? Yeah. yeah. What? I, 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 give you, I give you mnemonics. Yeah. Your website up on the monitor. And whatever questions you want, you know, if you put it on the screen, I'll just, I don't have to do this right now. Yeah. I can just let this go. Yeah. So, okay. Let me see. So usually on the test there's there's two usually two questions like what does qrl mean what is qth okay what is uh qth brad qth h stands for home yeah yeah so what is your location that's what it means what's your location now oh, the nice thing of hmm? qs and qr qrt is qr qs Yes. And there's a QS, yeah. QST. QTH? Yeah, QTH. H is, stands for home. QSL, L is for listen. In other words, is this frequency occupied? You just got to memorize it. No, QSL is not frequency. QSL is, no. No, it's acknowledge, acknowledge receipt of your transmission. QSL, sorry. I meant um, <laughs> QRL. QRL. Yes, yeah. sorry. QRL. Oh, wait, it says here, are you yeah. Are you busy? Yeah. Are you busy? It's used. Are it's, you or the frequency busy? Yeah. Yes. They're 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 um they're fluid. Um, these these Q codes uh, can be uh, used uh, in two different ways: as an answer or a question. If it's a yeah. question, you put a question mark after it. If it's an answer, yeah, just send the question. So basically, you would say uh, Q R uh, Q R L, right? QRL question Q mark question mark and some guy might say uh, send back to you QRL with no question mark and that means yes the frequency is busy yeah <laughs> so that's just CW that's, that's CW cool. but but they, th those are used in um, in sideband as well for instance uh, they will often say on sideband what's your QTH yeah. meaning where are you located some of them you will see? be used on sideband well, yeah it's used uh, a lot in distress calls too right You're yeah, they won't use the most. They won't depend on people knowing Q codes in a distress situation. No, they'll use plain language. Yeah. They'll use latitude, longitude. That's recognized uh, position. 
you want to use the ham lingo, it's up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A lot of us do. You know, get back to the home QTH, you know, or what is your QTH? You want to bring up a practice exam? We can uh, generate one. Yeah. Can you blow it up? Make it bigger? A PNT transistor. Okay. So which one is it, guys? A, B, C, or D? C. Absolutely correct. Try it. Hit it and see if we're mistaken. C. C. That's what everybody agrees to. Oh, it's, and it has to be. Even if you didn't know about transistors too much, you, that has to be. You know hey, why? you got it. You know why? Because there is no source and drain on a PNP exactly. transistor, and there is no drain, and no source again, mm -hmm. and there's no gate, there's no source, and there's no drain on a PNP yeah, transistor. Yeah, they're mixing them up. So there's a drain on three of them. Yeah. So it's yeah. the fourth one. <laughs> right away, you just eliminate them real quick. If you know the difference between a well, means regular power basic the junction wire. transistor and a metal chassis with power supply. in the, um, the field, field effect transistor, it should just come to you right with that. That's an easy one. They made that one too easy. <laughs> What's this one? Uh, mains operated power supply. So when they say mains, they mean operated off your AC main power. It's the term they use. Ground wire should be connected to the metal chassis of the power supply. This ensures in the case there's a fault in the power supply that the chassis... We did this one on Tuesday, right? So what do you think the answer is? I think it's A. You want A? Oh, incorrect! Ah! ah. It's not developed by. Oh. Well, okay. And then she why just got it wrong. wrong. Did you see that? Okay, why, is wrong, right? why is it wrong, guys? Why is it wrong? Think about it. Okay. <laughs> Who cares if it becomes conductive? It's metal. We don't have control of that. It is conductive. <laughs> it's not, and you don't want it to develop a high voltage because that's what's, that's good, the yeah. obvious there. Yeah. And conductive again is another. Who cares? You can't change the the physical oh. makeup of the of the case. Uh, the only one that comes in there is does not develop a high voltage with respect to ground. <laughs> okay, we're one for one. You got it? Oh, well, I, I wrote it down, yeah. You want to be the <laughs> teacher? <laughs> no, I've got a question here. Oh, no, no, ask. That's how you have to think with these questions, eh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Q signals. Oh, QSY. This is straight memory work. You either uh, know it or you don't. QSY. Don't look in a book. <laughs> I'm saying I can't why is why are you here hmm? right what? so why is the short form for why are you here so that will tell you give you the clues to what it should be not really QSY I would say you're right yep which one D, D. definitely D. Okay. D. Yeah. So if, you were, so if you were if you were doing a, a, a conversation and you wanted to use all the nice fancy technical terms and sound like a real ham with another ham for fun, uh, you would use this. Or if you're in a net, you would say, Q, "Please QSY to such and such frequency." Or, or I'd go. So, someone said, uh, "Can you uh, change to frequency such and such?" I would respond, uh, "V3RET QSY one four or seven point whatever." Or I could say I am changing to frequency, but it's cooler to say QSY. <laughs> it's what we do. And sometimes they, <laughs> on sideband, they use these things in weird ways. They say, for instance, um, I'm going to QSY to Brockville. He's, he's going to move his house to Brockville, you know, which is weird. Which but, is wrong. Which is wrong, it's but wrong way you'll hear that sort of misuse. What is the word used to describe the rate at which electrical energy is used? Is it power, resistance, current, or voltage? Uh, think again. Rate. Rate at which power energy is used. A. Yeah, I think it's A. <coughs> <That's a C>. <laughs> <laughs> the key, the key like word is rate. For your watch that you use. Uh, yeah, rate. Right. The energy you should pay for your watts. So current isn't the. It's not a rate. It's not a rate. No. It's 
close though. Well, it, sh it should be because uh, an anthrier is a coulomb per second, right? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it has nothing to do with voltage. It has to do with electron but, travel. But it says energy. It says energy. Yeah. And energy is power. It's not, it's not current or energy voltage. Energy is measured it's in power, power, not in, in yeah. amperes. It's a little dirty question, but you know, it's, it's there. Okay, we're out for your certificate. It must be kept in a safe place. Put on a file. Must be Okay, this is an easy one, guys. Which one? Hmm? A? No. Which one? D. Yes, D. I think it's A. You think it's A? Alan, can I say something? This here must be kept in on the person to whom it's issued. But see, I have a small one in my in my wallet at home too. Yeah. So because I carry it with me when I'm in my truck, because if I got pulled over by him, I got to show my face. So you got to kind of which one is it? Really? I got caught on one of these before. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Hey. I know what you mean. Yeah. But see, it's I, confusing. But see, but here's the thing. Just like I said, at the station, because look at. The station at home is my station with one certificate. The yep. certificate that you give me for in my wallet is also a certificate. Is also for my station yep. in my car. Yeah. Right. Station, so station. No matter yeah. what it is. You see how they try to. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what's a little tricky that one. It's D. Yeah. It's D. Retained at the station. Retained at the station. Yeah, it, was B. it gets confusing for me because in other radio services we don't we don't require them to keep the, the, the state the their license or whatever at station, but they have to be able to get a hold of it when we ask for it. Okay, there you go. Remember your formula, E equals IR. Okay, let me stop you here. I don't know if you've ever been taught this. I'm going to teach you Ohm's Law, and you'll never, ever forget how to use it. Okay? It's a little exercise I do. You're going to, it's fun. <coughs> Everybody close your eyes. And I want you to imagine the following picture. You look up in the, uh, you, you, you look up in the sky, and you see this beautiful blue sky and you see this big huge majestic eagle flying through the sky okay and you're on top of a mountain you're looking up in the sky and there's this eagle flying okay now look down to a nice grassy plain and you see an Indian chasing a rabbit okay eagle in the sky Indian chasing rabbit and the eagle never never lands Ohm's law. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? <laughs> you know what I mean? E over I times R. <laughs> that wasn't recorded, was it? <laughs> it's recorded, yeah. So everybody got it? Yeah. You see how it works? Everything is on tape on. Okay, continue. So, what's the answer here? Anybody got it? Calculator? Do you need a calculator? Yeah, I did. So E equals I R. R is equal to E over I. So divide the, the volts by the ohms, by the uh, amps, milliamps, and you should get it. But you've got to convert the milliamps to amps. So before you do it. Yeah. Well, it's already 0 0.8 milliamps. Million. It's milliamps. Yeah. Yeah. And so, how much of an amp is that? Oh, See, the rabbits yeah. disappeared in a hole. There's just the Indian and the eagle in the sky now. Really, <laughs> really. <laughs> so, a milli is a thousandth. So, that's 0 0.00. E over I. 0, 0, 0, yeah. D? Okay, let's try it. You got it. Hey, you got it. Good man. You add a nine decibel gain amplifier to your two watt handheld. What is the power output? So nine decibels every three. So you're adding three times three. Every three it doubles. So three times two threes um, two to double it goes to four and double it again goes should be sixteen right 
What do you guys think? Should be 16? Okay. Anytime you're dealing with dB, always remember an increase of 3 dB is double power. Yep. Yeah, That'll get you through most questions. Okay, let's see if it's 16. Okay, B. Hey. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, it switches in there. You gotta be careful. Which? Yeah, uh, these usually need high current capacity. Cross bar. Point switch. Point switch. A high current capacity. This is high current capacity. Receiver. Well, it's got to be the eliminate, transceiver. Just eliminate what you don't. Which one uses the most power? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I it takes about 20 watts on my uh, 20 amps, excuse me, on my power on my radio to transmit 20 amps. Think of it this way. Yeah. Uh, personally, I the only antenna switch I know that uses power has a light on it, <laughs> or, 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 it's a, or it's a remote control. <laughs> they're very rare. And a transmitter always has more power than a receiver. Yeah. If you don't believe me, just watch the lights dim when you key your transmitter and at a low voltage. And an SWR meter, well, it doesn't yeah. consume any power, really. Just for the light bulb, that's all. <laughs> what determines the inductance of a coil? Oh, well, there you go. This one could be a little trickier. What's the call? The, the call diameter? It should be coil. You, yeah. can, you can see it. It's just very bad. It's not very good on the internet there. There's a dot there. The coil diameter. Coil material, coil diameter, the length of the coil, the number of turns. Coil material, coil diameter, length of the coil. No, okay, so C and D are out. It's either A or B. B's off. Who cares if it's horizontal or vertical? Yeah, so it's got to be A then. The coil material, the coil diameter, the length of the coil, and the number of turns of wire. So it looks like A. Say it has to be A because the type of metal would have nothing to do with it. It doesn't make any difference, yeah, on the type of metal. Well, if it was tungsten. An interfering signal from the transmitter is found to have a frequency of 57 magnitude. This could be the. Yeah, this one I would be just guessing at. Not really. Think about it. Second time on. You have the interfering signal coming from a transmitter, which means you've got a receiver, okay? <coughs> so you have, you're receiving in this frequency range, 54, 60 megahertz, okay? Yeah. So the first one, crystal oscillator operating on its fundamental frequency. On this crystal oscillator yeah. does not put out interference signal. It's very, yeah. very it's weak. And the newer so they're so well shielded, that's not going to happen, okay? There's lots of crystal yeah. oscillators taking yeah. place yeah. to make your receiver yeah. receive, so yeah. we'll throw that one out. Second one, we're going to skip for a minute. Uh, let's go for the uh, seventh harmonic of an 80 meter transmission. Uh, seven har the seventh harmonic is, is extremely, extremely rare. So the time, by the time it ever gets out there, it's, it's, it's attenuated like crazy. And if you did the calculation, it probably wouldn't end up in that range. That would mean take 80 times seven times. And. Uh, if you take the frequency of 3.5 times 80, I don't think it's going to come anywhere near 54 or 60 megahertz. No, Forget no. that. That's another smoke screen. Third harmonic of 15 meters. 15 meters, you have to, this is why I said frequency and meters are important to know. 15 meters is 21 megahertz. Uh, three, three times 21? 63. Ooh, interesting. It's close, but not it. Now, 10 meters. 10 meters, 28. 28 times. That's Second it. harmonic is 54 megahertz. That's Ooh. it. Ooh. <laughs> hey, it's, it's ah. Second harmonic of 10 meters. Well, this one was 67, which is out of the range. They're trying to catch you again. See? They said 54 to 60. So it has to be. Which one? The, the, uh, B. 10 meters. It has to be 10 meters. Because 10 yeah. meters, the frequency is 28 megahertz. Yeah. Times 3. Yep. Because it would have been what? The second harmonic would have been what? And it would have been uh, 54. 
which was in that 54 to 50. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's like 28 megahertz times right two. in the range. Uh, yeah. yeah, but they tried to catch you by by giving you one that would give you 67 megahertz. Sneaky, yeah, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's outside that range. It's outside of the, of the range. Yeah. Outside of the channel range. Yeah. It couldn't have effect. Yeah, it's dirty. I know. It's dirty. <laughs> Well, this one's simple. We talked about it in antennas over and over again. Yeah, we sure did on Tuesday. Made a real and good I point about, about this. It all the up time. An antenna. How high do you put it up? It wasn't A when I did it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, high away from people where people can get a hold of it. Yeah. yeah. And it's especially important on 10 meters. Remember, I, I stressed that because you got more energy on 10 meters than you do on 80 meters. Antenna becomes more dan dangerous on 10 meters. Because of the frequency. Because, yeah. yeah. Higher potential for burning. Yeah. Out of reach. Okay. Oh, yeah, this was Brent's. You either know this or you don't know it. What are we in now, Alan? And we're in a solar minimum or something? Because uh, we had a we, we we got hit really hard, so we should start getting some decent uh, DX. Yeah, it starts um, fades off. I think of a couple of years ago we the, were at the peak. The bands are not too good lately. Yeah, we're just recovering from our last solar flare. It's on my sheet of paper. I got the one. HF scatter. Energy scatter. HF scatter. So what would HF scatter be? Anybody know? High frequency scatter. Talking about a signal. To get scattered, it has to get deflected by something, right? Mm -hmm. It's either C or D. So does propagation through ground waves absorb any signal? Yeah, it's nonsense. I mean, the ground wave is the, is the path of a signal along the ground. There's no scattering involved here. It's just... No. So that's ridiculous. Um, the state ridiculous. of the E regions at the point of refraction is going to cause HF scatter. Uh, the state of an E region would, would, would cause mm. one effect, not a whole bunch of others. It would either bend the signal one direction or point it and create a skip zone so no it's not going to cause scattering effect. Wow. so you want to go with D energy scattered into the skip zone through several radio paths well that's mm. what HF scatter is yeah. but what causes it is D Rory, you think so I think so I'm going with C he's going D I'm, I'm going, going C D. see if I'm right I'm going C Oh, hey. Hey. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Two Ener teachers wrong. I think we got to put it, we got to pack it in, zone. guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't because like the question. Because this defines HF scatter. <laughs> yeah, because it says in the skip zone, so that's where HF, Normally the HF is. scatter is. So that's what they want us to know is that it's in that skip zone. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, we're only ninety-eight percent now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're we're in trouble here. Yeah. <laughs> we failed. We're taking your license. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. One. <laughs> oh, once good you get your license, it's yours for life. I've been oh, told. Yeah, yeah. it'd be hard, pretty hard to take it away. <laughs> as much as I would like to take some some of them away. <laughs> An amateur station using radio telephony. Everybody knows what radio telephony is, eh? left over from the old days they, they keep using that scientific term it's phony radio right it's, no it's <laughs> telephone <laughs> communications by means of radio which is basically a microphone <laughs> oh that's that's simple that's part of the regs as well yeah so now uh, must install a device capable of that's indicating preventing. or preventing and that's what did I tell you about yes you did over modulation exactly over right modulation. D. It's not going to be resonance. Well, we're redeeming ourselves, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
here we go. Radio telephone signals in a frequency band below boom, boom, may, <coughs> cannot be automatically transmitted unless signals are received from a station operated by a person qualified to transmit on frequencies below and above frequency. Well, it should be 30, but this 29.7 is close enough. <laughs> oh, 29.5, 29.7 is closer this, to 30. This is, a, this is one I got. This, that's, this is not a fair question. I remember this one. Because you know, uh, yeah. both A and D and are more or less correct, but there is an actual official cutoff. And it's either 29.7 or 29.5. I'm going to guess 29.5. Okay, I'm 29.7. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, I got 90, um, 97 and you got 98 so far. So on that, that last question there, hmm? does that mean anything from, let's say, 29.6, 29, 29, 8, 9, those are, those, those would still not be able to be yeah, they would be They're above it. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I was talking about someone who's qualified to retransmit it. If you've got just a basic yeah. license, yeah, that's where it gets. That's right. That's where. That's where the cutoff is. 30, so therefore, you wouldn't. You can't go above thirty. Can't below. Yeah. Or, yeah, below. 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 Actually, thirty. Yeah. They say thirty. Thirty is a general term. It's actually twenty nine five. That's why the twenty nine five is. Okay. There. That's why I don't like the question. Yeah. <laughs> why do they why do they write in the in the in the, yeah. the, the, the documents for the department they say below thirty megahertz but what they yeah. really mean is twenty nine five. And then they give you that question where yeah. twenty nine seven like what you said yeah, so where, 30, so where's the cutoff? Answer. Yeah, where's and, the cutoff? It's and don't blame Industry Canada, those questions were written by radio amateurs. Well okay. no, that's <laughs> Industry Canada's fault for not using that, that document. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you would be able to transmit at twenty nine. Six and up. Yeah. No, no, you're missing. You're missing the point. It's reversed. What they're yeah. saying, okay? We were talking about this earlier. Remember, uh, he asked me if uh, you could operate in the HF bands uh, at, with a basic certificate, not basic plus. Well, a basic operator can only go as low as 29.5. So he could not use a repeater that receives at 29.5 and transmits below 29.5. Because he's not an advanced operator, he doesn't have, and he doesn't have the privileges. His signal cannot be heard on those frequencies, no matter how it gets there. Yeah. So that's what they're really after. They just want you to understand that if you don't have the privileges to use the other end of a repeater system, don't use it. Yeah. Okay. What should be done if a properly operating image station is a thousand nearby telephone? Uh, what should be done if a public, public, public. Oh, yes. We talked about this RFI. Probably say A on that one. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Well, I think you're right. In telephone RFI, close telephone device. Yeah, I showed you one of those. Yeah. Isn't it? Hey. Since it's properly operating, right? Hmm? Yeah. It's a properly operating system. So. Yeah. 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 A so like Mike was saying, can do that. look at the questions and try to eliminate one or two, <coughs> just for the obvious yeah. what yeah. they say, like and the way they're worded. Like, so you can eliminate these two right off the bat. Yeah. You know, like, is that, it's kind of like, whoa. And it, it told us that you never, ever do internal adjustments to anything. That's right. And then this one, ground field, the local telephone distribution. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It, you can see if you start hey, eliminating it, and then start, look, it comes right out, you'll see it. Yeah. You're not even allowed to climb the pole, let alone monkey with what's on the bottom. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, we talked about bandwidth. This should be easy. Yeah, yeah. We did, yeah. So, understand what you're saying here now. Single side band. Uh, what's the limitation? Uh, 250 hertz considering uh, the CW is, is allowed one kilohertz I think that's nonsense right and that's about the smallest signal you're going to see on the band is CW yeah so forget that and you can forget 500 hertz because that's again that's narrow that's than the CW, CW signal and voice yeah. takes a lot more than that so you can eliminate those two 
and six kilohertz. Well, that's it's that's FM. wide. That, you could you could run a TV station or not a TV station, that's but uh, yeah. that's FM. Yeah, six FM. kilohertz. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Sideband is is uh, half of AM, and AM is six kilohertz. So where do you think the answer is? B. And sideband is more efficient. That's why they reduced it. Yeah. So B. You reason it out. There it is. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. I didn't really cover this. This is the uh, same. Uh, 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 this is the yeah, same as the one I asked before. Way. I forgot to mention this. When I was talking about safety of antennas, yeah. Yeah. I also should have told you don't put them above high voltage lines because if they fall down in a storm, they're going to hit those lines and trouble. Definitely. So always make sure it's below. Yeah. But come down common sense. Everybody here has common sense. So look at that. Uh, common remember, sense. remember what I said? Yeah. You can't outlaw stupidity. I know. <laughs> well, Shakespeare says common sense is not very common. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it out the window. C, C, okay. C. So what's the answer? C, C, C. C. Certainly no one of the above. They just worded it a different way. Yeah, yeah. yeah they worded it they a different way. They do that. Way, yeah. uh, three element Yagi. Everybody knows what a Yagi is? Picture in your this, mind? This was my lesson, so don't goof up on me. <laughs> That's what you should do with these yeah, things. You should form right a picture there. in your mind as you're going through a three element. I'm talking about an antenna. It's a three element Yagi. It's got three elements. No? Oh. <laughs> Reflector driven element direction. Each of the elements has a name. The longest element at the back is the always the reflector. reflector. Yes. The middle one is always the driven. correct. Driven. And what's left? Focuser. The director. Direct. Director. Therefore, the answer is boom. A. The boom. Because we were yeah. talking. Because the boom's <laughs> not one of the three elements. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mechanical structure. Mechanical yes. support. support. Yeah. Exactly. 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 It's got to be supported yeah. by something. Keyword. There you go. Yeah. You always have to look right at the question, yeah. and, and it, it's sitting right in front of you. And the other thing is, uh, guys, um, take your time. Yeah. Most people finish in an hour. The longest it's ever taken is two hours, and we'll sit to two hours. Or anybody who wants to sit no to rush. two hours, there's yeah. no rush. No rush. Think about it. Take your time. Well, geometric is really crazy. I don't like the wording of this question. plane wave is crazy. By sky wave, well, it's got to be more like direct. It's more it should like say a, ground wave. Should yeah. Go with, yeah. I'm going to go with uh, with direct. Yes, A. <laughs> they're not using the right terms. It should no, they say aren't. ground wave. Yeah, but they are. Direct right wave is another name for it. Again, it says I would reword visible it. Visible horizon, it says. Yeah, visible horizon. So it's got to be a little oh, like. Yeah. <laughs> Just remember that sky waves are the ones that go up. They go away from the ground, and the only way they get back down is if they get reflected by ions by, on, by the ionosphere. And if they don't get reflected, they continue on in space. <clears throat> they permit any person to see under unsupervision presence of the holding certificate. Do you permit anyone to take conclusions only if fire? No. Oh. Yeah. C permit. It's got to no. be A. Yeah. B. No. It's got to be A. Keyword was presence. Yeah. Yeah, presence. Like I said it has to be yeah. under control Keyword of. Keyword was presence. Presence of mind. Aha, uh -huh, we talked about this, Tim. I asked this question specifically on, on uh, Tuesday. Well, and hey, you answered it. <laughs> <laughs> Electricity is never fatal, huh? Okay. It's never fatal. I think it's got to be B. Yeah. It's B. 10 milliamps. It's a very small amount. Yeah. Point zero 0.01. Why don't you get electrocuted when you uh, cut the lid, the, cut the two ends off your uh, AC adapter, plug it into the wall, and uh, lick your fingers and put it on each hand? I mean, it's capable of putting up 500 milliamps. Why doesn't it electrocute you? Not enough voltage to push that amount of current through your heart. 
voltage comes into the equation. I don't recommend that you experiment to find out how much voltage it takes, but just understand that it takes voltage as well. But in the end, if you get enough voltage to drive that small amount of current through your heart, it'll stop it. I wish they wouldn't write these so, so obtusely. Which of the following is not an exemption from the penalties under the act for divulging intercepting is not? Okay, this is a not question. Okay. It's not an exemption. Using information obtained from the other than broadcasting. It's not an exemption. Oh, that's pretty easy. Yeah. It's got to be D. Oh, come on. Read it again. Clean your glasses. <laughs> Preserving and protecting property for the preservation. Oh, prevention of harm. It's got to be D. No, no, no. Remember, remember we're talking about not. Oh, okay. It's a not question. I screwed it up. Oh, I see. It's a not question. Oh, I screwed it up. Yeah, I reversed it. Yeah. I'll give you a hunt. I'll, I'll give you a hint. Well, gee, your honor, I thought it was okay to give this information. After all, he's a journalist. <laughs> okay. Which one? It's not an accept. That's the key word. Was a not. An not acceptable. Not acceptable. So, in other words, so which one do you think? All the other ones yeah. can be an exception. Yeah. Want to say that? Hey, definitely a. No doubt about it. So I guess you almost have exactly. to look at you almost have to look at it yeah. and say, what is an exception? Yeah. Get the word not. Just say, <clears throat> what's an exception? Hmm. Yeah. And then what's, what's he got to do with things? Exactly. Nothing, man. Yeah. No. And all this has something to do. Legal. All that rest of it, like harming someone or, yeah. or pretty, pretty giving evidence, criminal or, trial, yeah, all that. Yeah. Security of the country. Yeah. That's exactly. common yeah. sense. That I'm now down sense. to ninety-seven. Got <laughs> 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 that one wrong? Yeah. Oh, boy, you got three wrong? Yeah. It's a tie, Bruce. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. If someone tells you that signals from your handheld transceiver are interfering with other signals on a frequency near yours, in other words, not on the same frequency you're operating, what could be the cost? Oh, it's got to be C. Now let's go through them one by one and I'll discount them. A, your handheld is a chirp from weak batteries. If it had a chirp from weak batteries, you wouldn't hear anything but the chirp. <laughs> yeah. It has nothing to do with transmitting or receiving. Uh, you need to turn the volume up on your handheld. What difference is that going to make? <laughs> you only create interference when you transmit. So forget that. That's nonsense. So uh, number D, you need a power amplifier for your handheld. Well, of course. But if you've already got a problem with your transmitter, of course you're going to increase the power. <laughs> But this will go all the way. Uh, number one, your handheld is transmitting spurious emissions, signals that you didn't intend for it to be transmitting because it's on another frequency. It's spurious. <laughs> well, we're we're just about done. We're just about done. Okay. This is the last one. All right. Your radio apparatus, when they're talking about transmitters, may be installed, placed in operation, repaired or maintained by the holder of an amateur radio office certificate with advanced qualifications on behalf of another person. Ah, remember A. Bivet? If the transmitter of a station for which the radio authorization is applied for is type approved or crystal controlled. Bullshit. No approval required. Yeah. Amateur. Throw it out. Don't care if it's approved for there anybody. B. If the other person is the holder of an amateur radio operator certificate to operate in the amateur radio service. That sounds pretty good to me. What's the other ones? Pending the pending. Oh, this is good. Pending the granting of a radio operator certificate. It's okay, officer. I'm getting my, my driver's license next week, so don't bother giving me a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Right. Pending the granting of a radio operation authorization, if the apparatus covers the amateur and commercial radio frequency bands. Again, same thing. Pending. Yeah. Pending the granting. Those two are. Right. It's a radio transmitter. In the amateur bands, commercial bands, whatever. You don't have authority, you don't have it. Period. And until you get it, exactly. It means nothing. Yeah. So it's B. And commercial frequency bands have nothing to do with the amateur band. 
and, and the one doing it is qualified, so that <coughs> allows him to do it because he has got the qual uh, the advanced yeah. domain. Yeah, he can use the equipment that yeah. you're fixing for. Yeah, time. That's how it works, guys. Watch the wording. So you're going to get uh, two more of these sessions next week. So next week is just review. Bring your questions. And on the 29th, I think uh, you're going to get a hand, uh, a handout of a practice exam from Dave.